Welcome to Fret Not. My name is Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the Entry Level Metal Series. What you holding there? Oh, we've got the Firefly FFLX. Ooh. Yeah. I thought you told me you didn't like Explorer bodies. Um, they're not my favorite, but this one is pretty nice. It is pretty nice. Mm-hmm. So, uh, if you watch the channel, uh, we do multiple things here. A, we uh, commissioned 10 high-end guitars from around the country from who we thought were some of the best luthiers. Uh, we got those guitars in. We did reviews on them. Uh, we've moved over to a different type of series. This is the Elm series, mm -hmm. the entry-level metal series. And uh, what we've done is purchased a bunch of guitars out of our own pocket. And we're putting them on here, and we're reviewing them, kind of giving you some idea of whether we think they're any good or not. And then um, if you watch the channel, if you do the few little things we ask, if you like the video, if you share the video, and if you're subscribed to the channel, if you put the word done in the comments, when we get through the review, we give it away. We just gave away the Leo, Leo James. James. Mm -hmm. So I know that dude's going to be happy when oh, we yeah. sent that other dude to Jackson. Mm -hmm. And... I believe the guy in Canada just got his or about to get his. He yeah, won that he should one. be getting it soon if not. On that Donner? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, um, anyway, tonight we have a new subject to look at, and that would be the Firefly FFLX, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, this is a take on like, um, you know, the way it looks. Of course, colors are different, bindings different, and it doesn't compare to the high-end one, but kind of a take on the... Uh, Maybe a 70s or 80s style Explorer. Yeah. Um, I've played it. I know you've played it. Mm -hmm. Plays pretty good, don't it? It does. It plays pretty good. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to tell you a little bit about the guitar. We're going to take a break. We're going to come right back. We're going to do the specs. Uh, then we're going to let you hear it in a mix, let you hear what it sounds like. We're going to come out of that, and then we're going to give you our thoughts on it. We're going to tell you what we paid for it, how long it took to get it what we think about their customer care, the quality control, mm -hmm. uh, basically everything we think about the guitar, and maybe that'll help you make a decision whether you want to buy it. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to, we'll be right back, and we're going to come back with the specs on this guitar, and then we're going to let you hear it in a mix. Okay, we're back, and look at that. The magic of the internet. Yes. So, I'm using a cheat sheet tonight. Uh, honestly, guys, just to be honest with you, we bought some of these thinking guitars. All this stuff kind of runs together. It's kind of hard to remember a little bit. So, what I'm doing now is I'm using um, a cheat sheet so we don't mess up the specs. <laughs> so, this is a Firefly, obviously, and it is called a Red Burst. Um, it's uh, The top is a mahogany. The body is mahogany. And the back is mahogany, and the neck material is maple. They show painted it, didn't they? Yeah. And uh, the fretboard is rosewood. And, uh, of course, it has dual pickups. It says on the top of the page on this, it's stainless steel ball-end frets. Uh, it is ball-end frets. Mm -hmm. Not 100% sure whether it's stainless steel, but man, this, this little guitar plays really good. It does. Uh, we bought this straight off of Amazon. I believe it was two nineteen or so shipped, um, and I, I think for that money, yeah, I'd, I'd be pretty pleased with it for that kind of money. So one of the things I do want to talk about on this, uh, it's going to have more of an explorer sound. Mm -hmm. It is not as high gain, high gain. You know what I mean? Yeah. As some of the stuff we do, um, and the neck is like a C. But it's pronounced. It's, yeah. It is not a super thin neck. It's not too thick. It's playable. It's playable. Definitely playable. Uh, so far, we took it out of the box. We had to tune a couple of the strings. Haven't touched it. Yep. The action on it's really good straight from the company. Um, haven't found any fret buzzing, any dead frets. No, it plays pretty well straight out of the box just so, in, in those terms. Yeah, so for <clears throat> 219 now, I did play Explorer bodies when I was younger, but mm -hmm. I was, you know, played anything then. Yeah. Now, I don't prefer them. I don't prefer Vs either because Same. they're kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah. But, man, I think this is a rocker. It definitely is. 
yeah, if, again, relating everything back to my first guitar, I would be super thrilled if this was my oh, first dude, guitar. Oh, dude, dude. Um, I would probably feel different about Explorers now if this kind of body shape was my first guitar. Right, but, right. Um, otherwise, yeah, I've, I don't really have too many complaints. So I think, man, for 219 bucks, um, man, if, uh, you know, I've said this on other shows or whatever, but, I mean, literally, if I'd have had something like this, I'd have probably been better way faster because <laughs> I was, you know, I was fighting just to cord a, just to get a cord to fret out and sound right. You know, the strings mm -hmm. were so far off the neck, and these are just right down on it. Yep. It's straight, um, and it plays really slick. Man. Yeah. I think uh, for the for what you spend, man, that's that's a pretty good buy. I'm pretty surprised, like with all of the uh, the the entry levels that we've done so far. I'm I'm pretty surprised with how and and glad with how far they've kind of come guitar wise for that kind of money. Well, you know, I've seen hundreds, and obviously we've bought what six or seven mm -hmm. of them, and we've given away, and we've got a couple more we're going to be doing. Um, and you know, I think our research ahead of time before we bought, mm -hmm. doing the same thing you guys need to be doing, and or what you're doing right now, a little research on the guitar. Um, so it, we kind of had a leg up on which ones to order. Yeah. There's a ton out there, but I was thinking today we need to order a couple more, and we've pretty much run out of builders for the standard two to three hundred dollar range. Yeah. The only other company we've got right now that we can mess with is Ibanez mm -hmm. and or, or Epiphone, and you know the little Ibanez I I went to buy at two hundred dollars. I wouldn't give that to you. Yeah, you know what I mean. I love Ibanez, but that particular guitar, which was the only one they had, mm -hmm. the tuners didn't work. Um, you play it for three minutes, it's out of tune. You spin the tuner, it turned three quarters away before the string ever caught up. Yeah, it didn't make just, a difference. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm not putting that on the channel because I'm gonna give that a thumbs down, and then I got to give it to somebody. Yeah. So I'm hoping we can find a different Ibanez that's got a little bit better feel to it, playability, because mm -hmm. uh, we're not trying to determine which brand. I just hate to go buy five Fireflies and say all of these are good. Yeah. But so far, their guitar's good. So far, yeah. The freaking IYV, the Leo James, the mm -hmm. Donner wasn't bad. I think the little Jackson was a good buy. Yeah, the little Jackson was pretty great. You know, and then we've got that SBS. Mm -hmm. uh, we still got that Mitchell. Hey, man, I'm telling you what. Guess what I found out today? If you're not a patron of this channel, this won't mean nothing to you, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So I went on Guitar Center today. They dropped the price back to $250. Oh, did they now? Yep. Nice. And said it was on sale. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a whole other debacle. If you hang around the channel and you don't know nothing about the Mitchell ordeal, mm -hmm. then uh, that'll be coming up in another episode or two. We'll all talk about that. Yeah. So right now, the most important part of the show, we're going to shut up and let you hear it in the mix. Okay, welcome back. You got a chance to hear it in the mix, so yeah. you're playing it. What do you think yeah. about it? Um, it it's so it's a little awkward just because I don't typically play an explorer body shape. Get rid of your bias. Yeah, and answer the question. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, <laughs> in terms of like sound and playability, it was pretty good. I, I like it. Uh, but do you think that it has something to do with because we're lazy? And we always sit down. You know, I bet all these people out here, like, you know, I bet they got a strap. They could stand I mean, up and yeah. play the freaking guitar. Yeah, you know? with a strap, you know, it's like any other guitar. But know? sitting down, but you're sitting not... down is not my. Uh, it's not my forte. We'll say with okay. an explorer shape. But that's you know that's personal preference and sound and playability and you know string buzz, all that kind of stuff. It's really good. 
So we bought this guitar straight off Amazon, and you can too. There's like three or four colors of it. We opted for this one mm -hmm. um, to kind of get rid of the the less poly color burst that they have on there. Uh, I thought this looked a little more metal, yeah, if it, it could be. It's got that red binding too. Right. Uh, so we paid 219 bucks from this, shipped off Amazon. Now, my wife is... Uh, Prime, so there you go, free ship. <laughs> Gotta love it. I make her order all my guitars off Amazon. Um, I was a little taken aback when we first got it. First of all, we took it straight out of the box. I mean, one or two strings needed to be moved up a quarter of a note, and it was in tune. Mm -hmm. It's packaged very well. Um, it's in a styrofoam cutout specifically for this guitar, so it arrived in really good shape. Yep. Um, the neck is thicker than I thought it would be. And I believe this company was emulating more of a 60s or 70s style Gibson neck. Mm -hmm. I'm 60 style, or no, it was the 50s that was like a slab, wasn't it? Something <laughs> like that, but anyway, I think the 60s are smaller. But it's not bad. No. But if you've been playing on a super thin modern C or something, you will notice the difference. Mm -hmm. But man, I've, I've been all over the guitar and, you know, I didn't want to hate it, but I wanted it to be, not for y'all's purpose, but I wanted it to be a $219 guitar because right. that's what it is. But they say that is, you know, this, this, all of this is mahogany. The neck is mahogany. The fretboard is uh, rosewood. I mean. It's not too bad. It's not bad at all, man. It's got good tone. It's got good sustain. Those are pretty good pickups. They're not the highest gain, but they will play anything to, you know, rock, mm -hmm. hard rock. Uh, they clean up really nice. There is definition between the, the, the two pickups yeah. on all positions. So, man, if you, if you are okay with an Explorer body and you got $219 and you don't order that, that's kind of on you, man, because I think that's a really good buy. It is. I think it plays well. I think that SBS we did last week plays really good. It's a little higher. A little bit. The Jackson, <clears throat> as much as I liked the Jackson. Maybe it's because I saw the price tag when I bought it. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying this doesn't feel... I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying that to me, the Jackson, I, it kind of felt like I knew they were hiding the cheapness to yeah. make it look, you know what I mean? This is heavy. Yeah. It feels like a real guitar. It does. Um, I think the Donner was more like that in a way. It was lighter weight. Mm -hmm. But that IYV, man, you hurt somebody with that thing. Yeah, it's like 10 pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a heavy guitar. All right, so we've told you enough about this. Uh, as as you know, on this channel, we review these and we give them away. So what we're going to do now, if you like this video, if you share this video, and if you're subscribed to the channel, all you have to do is go in the comments on this guitar, type the word D-O-N-E. Whenever we see that in the comments, we go back to the analytics and we pull them and it tells us if you shared it, if you liked it, and if you're subscribed. As long as you've done those, then your name is put into a random name generator uh, on the internet. It's a virtual wheel. Sometimes there's 12 people in it. Sometimes there's 40. We just hit the button. Whoever it lands on, that's who gives the guitar. Yep. We sent the Jackson out to that one guy. Mm -hmm. That was didn't have to be shipped far. Uh, we just shipped the Donner to Canada. Mm -hmm. And we just gave away the Leo James. I don't know where he's at, but <laughs> <he'll>, <clears throat> he's going to be getting the box. Yep. Whenever you win one of these, you're going to get the exact same box we got. We bought it straight from the manufacturer. They're not used. They're not refurbished. Um, we take a fret knot sticker and stick it on the box. We pay for the shipping to you. When you get it, we just ask if you'd take a picture of you know yourself in the box to show the sticker. And if you like, if you don't mind, maybe just take a picture of yourself with the guitar. You know, we'd really appreciate that because yeah. we will put it on the page. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So. We usually, at this time of the video, we show you what's next. Well, I drove off and left it at the house, so you can't see what's next. <laughs> we do have another guitar. Yep. You're going to really like it. It's at the house. And probably 24 hours from the time this video airs, um, probably ordering another one. So we'll have another one after the one that I can't show you tonight. Mm -hmm. So for right now, <clears throat> until we run out of decent guitars to buy, 
And I've seen hundreds of them, and I'm scared to pull the trigger on them. I'm just like these guys. I'm scared to pull the trigger on them because I ain't never heard of them. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I can't even repeat the name of one of them. I couldn't even pronounce it. And I was like, what? There's some weird ones out there. <clears throat> so I don't know. But hey, we're dedicated to doing the research to tell you what we feel. And listen, guys, we, man, we commissioned 10 of the nicest hand-built, custom-made, luthier-built guitars from around the, the globe, and we've reviewed those. We know what quality is, and we know what it feels like. Mm -hmm. And I really think probably 85, 90% of these are way better than what you're paying for. Yeah. I mean, compared to what we're used to, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you buy something very low on money, you usually get very low on money. Yeah. Now, I know some of them guitars, man, they have like a artwork on the top, and it's not really, you know, what it looks like. Mm -hmm. But hey, if it plays. Yeah, as long as it plays and sounds good, that's about really all that matters. And you know, everybody can't afford to, to spend a lot of money on a guitar, and especially if you're starting. Yeah. And especially if you ain't got your own money, you got to talk somebody else into getting you a guitar. Yeah. So... Keep your eye on this company. This is the first one we reviewed by them. Mm -hmm. We got one SBS. We got one Jackson. We got one Donner. We got one IYV. We got one Leo James. So far, if you go back and look at this channel, every one of those guitars we reviewed, those specific guitars, we ordered every one of them. You know, we're not, nobody sends us nothing. We ain't monetized or nothing. We just ordered them offline. So far, I mean, I would have been stoked to have any of those when I started. Yeah. Uh, I really like this, but you know how I, you know how much I, I like this from right here. Yeah, I just like it from I like it when I'm not having to sit with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it looks it, it it does. It looks it looks really cool. I like the red to it a lot. There's red binding down the fretboard as well, so that's pretty complimentary with the body. All right, it's guys, nice. we have taken up enough of your time. I don't even know what episode this is. Five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll figure it out. One of those. <laughs> so. Uh, we're going to get out your hair. Stay uh, stay up on the channel. We do another series, and it is the High Gain series, and that's those custom guitars from all, all around the country. We started a new series uh, where we're going back, and we're actually sitting down and interviewing those luthiers and, you know, asking them eight or ten questions and getting to hear them talk. So maybe, maybe, if you're thinking about buying one of those, hopefully you'll be able to go pull one of our videos, and you get to see who it is building your guitar. Yeah. And hey, man, we've had great success. I know it's a lot of money, but every one of them, man, I wouldn't trade any one of them guitars for nothing in the world because, you know, they, they put months into building them for us. And they're, I mean, they're just kind of meticulous, you know? Mm -hmm. Yep. They, uh, they're really good. Yep. All right. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to get out of here. And until next time. Stay tuned.